Hello YouTube, this is Chris again with Beggars Paranormal Services. Um, this video is going to be on multiple topics. Some are really serious and some really not so serious. Like, I shaved my head. Um, that's not so serious. Um, but, uh, so the first part of the video I'm going to get into is because it's on a um, time limit and it takes forever to get to the place where I got to put the information in. Um, for this particular part of the section of video, if that made any sense, and it probably didn't. Um, first off, sorry I've been making videos uh, in a while. Just a lot of things going on. Uh, some personal uh, within my own home, some personal friends and family stuff, and I've been trying to take care of it, different things. So <coughs> I just haven't been making any videos. But the first part of this video is going to be um, how much it's going to cost me to get my van fixed and get it put under my name and everything and why I haven't done it yet because it's so freaking expensive and I just don't have the money. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the that part of the video. I'm going to turn my webcam off and I'm going to turn the screen capture on. All right. This is the part that's on a um, time time limit here. If I leave this too long, it backs out, and I got to re-enter all the information. And it's just a pain in the butt. So this is what it's going to cost me to put it under my name, pay all the fees, late fees, registration, breaks down everything here. Um, I don't have $709. That's absolutely ridiculous. Last time I knew it was four, and I didn't even have that. Um, so, if I go on eBay, so that's let alone $709. So, if you go on eBay, and we look here, this is for the a transmission. This is if I replace the transmission, um, and I buy it on eBay, which is going to be cheaper. And if I do it anywhere else, um, that's the transmission there. Uh, if I buy the parts other places, it's offline. It's going to be more expensive. I haven't found any place or anybody is selling it. I got a 4080E, as you can see. Um, you go to the oil pump because it's having oil pump problems. Um, and it could be the screen. Um, I don't know. But... The oil pump, I mean, it's not too bad, but I mean, it's still up there more than what I have. Then you got a torque converter, which I'm sure I'm going to need. Then the rebuild kit, which I'm going to need to be able to rebuild it. Um, this is the route if I don't replace the transmission, which I don't think it needs to be replaced. Um, it's quite expensive. It's still cheaper than a new car or a used car, but I just don't have the money to do it. I check balls, which I'm going to need. These go inside the transmission itself. They control the flow and the pressure um, for the shifting along with the shift solenoids. These ain't so bad, but they're still up there pretty high. So these, um, I got, as you can see, I, I don't have this kind of money. Um, so... As you can see, I'm at 1118, um, and uh, I, let me start over. Um, we'll go back to what I was saying about my transmission, um, uh, my van. Um, it's been I've had it for this September will be about a year, and I just can't afford it. I can't afford to fix it, and that's why it's still sitting. And if without having a vehicle, I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. It makes it really difficult. Um, plus, there's no work here in uh, in Bakersfield, in California. Um, as I've touched in some of the, my other videos, my, I've lost my employment and everything. But that's my van thing. So I'm going to go ahead and close these down. So I don't need these up. Give me a second here. Okay, now we're going to go um, to uh, why I changed my name back to CA Heart 79. CA Heart 79 was my original channel name. Uh, 
and I was still doing paranormal then as well uh, when it was CA Heart 79 but I made a list and some of these um, uh, have been recommended to me by other youtubers some pretty big youtubers um, some, some not so big and some of them I catch myself doing um, like I said been getting feedback um, it's easy to remember it's a lot easier to remember and a lot easier to say and a lot easier to search um, for CA Heart 79 than it is Bigger's Paranormal Services um, it's easier to give out I've had multiple times where I'm like hey you, you go on YouTube yeah you believe in the paranormal and stuff like that yeah what's your channel name and I give it to them especially if it's over the phone and I, I, I have to I have to tell them you know just go to CA Heart 79 it's, it'll take you to the same channel and it's a lot easier to search just search that um, and, and I catch myself when I when I'm looking up my channel my own channel um, like I'm somebody else to see what it looks what it looks like um, I catch myself using the CA Heart 79 a lot more people labeling me anybody that knows me and, and, and if you've been on my videos and stuff you know I'm not really huge in giving a shit whether somebody labels me or not I really don't care but um, they label me like oh you're a paranormal investigator you're a paranormal channel but you keep putting all these other videos up and I honestly think that's what's causing uh, some of the problems of people subscribing to me or even coming to my channel because when I'm commenting in other section other people's channels or whatever I think if they're not into the paranormal the paranormal name scares them that's what I think um, let's see here I like I said I'm ha having a hard time finding a job uh, here in Bakersfield and in California in general and if um, if I do move out of California uh, and out of Bakersfield uh, even just out of Bakersfield uh, if I get my wife into moving um, I'm gonna have to change my name anyway so might as well do it now I'm gonna give it 30 days and at the end of 30 days uh, I'm gonna reevaluate the channel name and see where I'm sitting at that point and see if it if it's you know worse better medium you know in between whatever um, like I said it's shorter than biggest paranormal services so it's a lot easier to remember it's a lot easier for everything um, it's easier for like also when you put in descriptions or, or, or not descriptions but um, you put it putting the name in somewhere and you only have so many characters um, CA heart 79 takes up a lot less room um, and I think that's pretty much about it why I've um, why I've changed uh, the main points why I've changed my name back my channel name back to CA heart 79 um, I will we'll see what happens in 30 days uh, also my computer has been uh, acting fine I have had really no problems out of it since um, actually the one video where I made where I turned off uh, my notifications or not my notifications but my uh, um, Oh hell! Uh, my screensaver, the video I've got right. I changed it, the amount of time on my screensaver, and it, my computer stayed awake. Um, but there was other issues where I was noticing for it to defrag by at a certain time, which I have it set for daily, and it wasn't defragging. Um, since I've turned my uh, screensaver completely off, it. I don't have that problem now. Um, it, it defrags like it's supposed to by itself. Other other things in the operating system are starting to work like they were like they were supposed to. That I've got them set up, and as you can see, my computer's not falling asleep if I don't move it. So um, that's that's a plus. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and, and turn my screen capture off. Let's see here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my webcam back on. That way you're not looking at that other screen. Just sitting there staring at the other screen. Um, so, some of the personal problems that I've been dealing with, um, some I'm not going to go too much into detail. Um, but I've had some personal issues here at my house. Uh, can't find a job. Can't bring any money in. Can't support my family. Um, I've been having... I've got other problems too, but like I said, I'm not going to touch into them. Uh, 
and having medical problems myself. Um, this knot, I don't know if you could see it, but there's a knot right there on my forehead, and it just appeared one day out of nowhere. And at first I thought, okay, maybe I bumped my head. I, I honestly did not know. And so I was like, okay, well, it's been about a little over 30 days now, and it's still there. It's actually gotten a little bigger. And so I started doing some research on it and found that it's uh, it's usually one or two things. It's either stress that causes it, um, or it's a uh, a bone that's growing out of my skull. And a lot of people are having it, and they have it surgically removed, and again, don't have money for that. If it's causing pain or anything, that from what I'm seeing, the insurance companies will cover it. If it's not causing pain, which mine isn't at this point, the insurance won't cover it. And one guy I was watching said it caused, it's about a $5,000 surgery. I don't have that money. Physically, what it looks like, I really don't care. I could have a horn popping out of my head. I really wouldn't care. Um, I'm not big into, uh, I mean, I, I want to look nice, but on the same hand, I'm not like, oh, I've got to be, you know, pristine. Uh, if you're judging me off my looks and you got a problem, but the problem is, is with if if this is a bone spur or a bone growing out of my off my bone, it can flip around, and and it'll still be showing on the outside, so I wouldn't know, but it would grow backwards into my skull, um, and through my skull, and it can end up puncturing my brain. So I I I think I'm gonna have to go get that checked out to find out what's going on, because if it's stress, then that's something different, and I can you know figure out what to do. But if it is a bone spur and it can t possibly pop, it, go around the back side of my head, you know, into my skull and poke through my brain and kill me or make me a vegetable, that's not something I'm, I'm cool with. Um, if it's just, you know, visually ugly, I really don't care. I mean, but neither here nor there. So, um, last few years, I also been having, um, and, and I've been to a doctor for this too, and they said it was stress is uh, stress that's in my life. Um, getting pains all the way up my arm, my left arm here, up into my neck, side of my face, my face, you know, you know, getting all retarded, uh, into my ch left side of my chest here and into my shoulder blade. And they checked me out and they said, you know, it's not a heart attack or anything, but it's, it's um, not a stroke, but it's something similar to where if you're stressed, if you got a lot of stress in your life and different things like that, that it can... Um, go from that and go to um, a heart attack. And so that's another issue I've been dealing with uh, for the last past few years. Um, my lower back constantly keeps going out. Um, randomly, just out of nowhere, I had to go out one year, uh, and I thought, okay, I slept wrong, pulled a muscle, whatever, and had it for over a year. And then went to bed, one, and I tried everything to get rid of it. Went to bed one night, woke up, gone like it never existed just as fast as it was there overnight it was just it was gone that i woke up and i was like wait a minute my back's not what what's going on and i sat up and i was perfectly fine i was not you know mad because it was gone but i was like shocked like i've dealt with this for a year um but another problem i'm having too and the research i'm doing on it i found it could be a, a few things uh again with the stress but there's a few other things it could be is my eyes keep going in and out of focus. Um, like, right now I see one of everything. And there's times where I'll be completely sober. Like last night I was at my buddy's house and not, ha not drop alcohol, not drop anything. And all of us, you know, I'm not staring at a computer screen or anything in, or a phone or whatever. And I started seeing double of everything. My eyes aren't hurting. They don't, you know, whatever. But like, I'll just, I'll see double of everything. And, um, Sometimes it's far away. Sometimes it's up close. I've, I'm, ge I'm hearing that it's uh, possibly um, stress as another, f as a big factor of that could cause that. Um, it could be chronic dry eye, which I was diagnosed with many years ago because um, I was having a bunch of eye problems. I couldn't see. My eyes were getting blurry, light sensitive. Um, I was having to wear sunglasses at night to um, watch TV with all the lights off. So I mean, it got really bad. So. I, I don't know what all this stuff is. Um, I keep hearing the word stress a lot. So it's very possible that's what a lot of most of this stuff is. 
some of it does have other things that it could be. So, I mean, it's, you know, here and here and there. And so I'm going to have to go to the doctor to get this stuff looked at. But, um, so enough with all this stuff. Okay, we're going to get into the really serious part of the video. And you guys may not know this, but I saw a long time, a few months ago on Facebook that, and I live in California, so obviously. And I've been wanting to get out of California for a long time for multiple reasons, and this is just a yet another one. Um, California, uh, there's a bill right now trying to be pushed, and it, it's got ballots everywhere, and supposedly it's it's been going on for a couple of years, but it's finally hit enough steam to where it's got enough approval and enough signatures that it's going to be on this November ballot. So if you live in California, you live in Bakersfield, vote against it. What it is, is California is trying to divorce Bakersfield, or not Bakersfield, I'm sorry, the U.S., the U.S. of A., America. How stupid is that? Well, why would you do that? They want to divorce the union. Now, I understand America's got its faults, but I love my country, but I understand it's got its faults. But why would you want to do that? See, I think it's part of the New World Order. It's part of the gun grabbing. It's part of police state. It's part of martial law. It's part of all that. It's part of that big, the big picture. And the reason I think this is, is what they're going to do is that they pass that law. Um, there's another part of that. Uh, another, it's either another bill or it's part of this law. Uh, but it has to do with it even if it's, it's its own thing to vote on. Now, what they're trying to do is they want to take our guns. Uh, if, if we're not part of the United States of America no more, okay, California is its own country, which is absolutely stupid as it is. It, it, that just alone but what it is if California is its own country what they're going to do is they're going to turn around <clears throat> we're not going to be out of the Constitution the Bill of Rights <clears throat> pardon me we're not going to be under the Bill of Rights so we're not going to have freedom of speech we're not going to have uh, the Second Amendment right which is uh, a, a right to own guns um, so any legal gun owner won't have that right anymore okay so those two the, if, if California is its own state uh, own country that that's going to be messed with right there we're not going to be under the US military protection California is not you're going to have to have a passport to go between California and anywhere else in the United States because we're no longer going to be part of the United States any longer so now we're going to have to have a passport to get from California to uh I don't know say uh, Washington or Oregon or anything like any anywhere else any side anywhere outside of the California state line we're gonna have to have a passport because we're gonna be a different country we're not gonna be the United States anymore as California okay and then to make all matters worse if that wasn't bad enough they want to split it up into six or nine different countries you heard me six or nine different countries which are all going to have their own government yeah so not only what it sounds like if this stuff passes you're going to have to have a passport to get out of California but you're also going to have to have a passport to go in within anywhere in California outside of your little bracket and you better believe that if they this passes they're coming for your guns. They're coming for your... If you even stand up to try to say anything, you're not going to be under that freedom of speech law. They're going to come after those... Gu they're going to come after uh, come after you if you try to say anything about it. And if you try to stop them from taking your guns, they're going to come in your house and it's going to be a, a war because you're not going to want to give your guns up. You're going to try to protect your family and they're going to take your guns. And so it's going to be an out-and-out out out war. I called this a long time ago. All this stuff that's going on, and nobody wanted to believe the crazy white guy. I was the crazy idiot, idiot nobody wanted to believe. And now all this stuff is coming to effect. It's all starting to happen. And the pe some of the people I've been talking to recently, I've known for a long, long time, and they were the ones that were calling me a crazy. Then I needed to have a tinfoil hat on, and I needed to be in a, in a, rubber ro in a, in a room with straight jacket on, and that I was crazy and I was nuts. And now they're starting to see the big brother and the police state 
and all this other and the new world order and all this other stuff that these people keep you know that's finally coming to light so wake up people wake up wake up because if you don't this kind of stuff will come into play it's already in play it just has to be signed into office and you don't think the crooked politi majority of the crooked politicians we have right now aren't going to sign this stuff in the office because it fits their plan it fits their bill and right now i live in california most majority of my friends and family have moved out of california prior to me seeing this because they couldn't find work they couldn't find they couldn't take care of their families and that's why and that's another thing is they're trying to choke us out financially money um, food water um, health care they're trying to cut us out they're trying to uh, to force us out of California and uh, if I because other states have problems yes other countries have problems yes but why is California the worst why is California the one that keeps getting bullseyed you gotta ask yourself that question and think about that so anyway Hope you liked this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, turn your notifications on. And um, keep me in your prayers. Keep my family in your prayers. And uh, if if you can, by any chance, help me by donating to me through my PayPal. You don't have to, but it would greatly help me out. Um, I'm going through some really hard times right now, and as we all are. Um, but if you can afford to help me out and, uh, and you want to, I would greatly appreciate it. It would help me. It helped my family, um, and uh, I love you guys. I approve this message.